it's Rosemary and I'm back in the store again mostly because my friend Gail who's also one of my viewers made the comment that I should have taken it a step further and shown you after you use the connect to send it to the scan and cut what you're gonna do to cut it out to find the design and to fit it in to I guess you would say the the outline shape that the machine's gonna uh, sew out and fit that design down in there so um, I'm gonna give that a try. And while we're talking about it, if you do make a comment that um, is a good idea, something I'd like to do, I would appreciate it and I'll mention your name, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this mat, which is the, the regular sticky mat, and I've gotten two pieces of fabric here, and that fabric has got the applique wonder ironed onto the back. I like to do that. I don't like to cut my appliques on just plain fabric because it's never stiff enough and it doesn't stay in place. We want something sticky to hold it in place. So now I'm going to move this around and put it and line it up so it's lined up between these two grooves and hit this button. Try that again. Hit this. And I'm going to move the camera so you can see the screen a little bit better. So here's the screen of our scan and cut. And usually when you turn it on, it's going to say scan and it's going to say pattern. But we're using connect, right? So we're going to use the arrows to go over here where we have some more menus. And that says my connection. And that's what we're looking for. And I went ahead and did this again because I'd already sewed out summer so I put in the word time t-i-m-e so I can make it summertime so we're gonna hit retrieve and wireless LAN and we should see there it is the word time and I did this exactly the same way I did it before in the previous video go back and watch that video so you'll know how I made the applique now I could push this and it would bring in the whole word time but I want to do each one of these separately so I'm gonna hit this one and I've already cut out the I and the M so I'm gonna hit the T and say okay and set that down now, I want to get that T right on this fabric that I already um, put on here. So what I'm going to do is hit this and say start. And that is going to scan my mat so that it can show me exactly where my fabric is sitting. So give it a second to do that. I know you can't see it, but you'll see it on the screen in just a minute. Okay, so you can see my fabric and the letter T. And I'm going to move the T so it's right in the middle of that fabric. Now I'm going to hit Add. And I'm going to pick the E. Say OK. Set. There's the E. Let's move it over here and put it on there. So I know both of those are going to cut out pretty good. I'm going to say OK. It says please select. And I want to cut that. So now I'm just going to hit start and keep my fingers crossed that I've pushed down hard enough on this. This scan and cut will test the thickness of my fabric for me. So I don't have to worry about doing a test, but I do sometimes worry if it's stuck, stuck on there good enough so that it doesn't pull it off the mat. But it's doing a good job. Okay, so that cut that out so fast. I was actually surprised when it was done too. Um, so we're gonna take it and we're gonna peel it off of here. And look at that, there's my E. And there's my T. So let's take this over to the sewing machine and we're gonna embroider. I'll probably just embroider one letter, but at least I'll, you'll get a good look at how it works. Okay, so you don't really need to see the screen, but you do need to see where that's gonna embroider. So I've got this zoomed in closer to where it's embroidering. And I have got this all set up to write the word time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start this. I've got purple thread in here. Okay. 
All right, so I have to tell you, I did not make this bigger. I cut it exactly the size that it transferred over. So I'm not absolutely positive this is gonna work really good, but we're gonna give it a try. So I have peeled the back off of the applique wonder, and you can see this is very sticky on this side without the back on it. And then I'm just gonna take it and set this right on top according to the lines. Let's see how well I can do this. There we go. And I didn't need to make it any bigger now that I look at it. So Gail, I'm sorry I told you to do one click bigger because that is exactly the right size. I'm pushing it down so it doesn't move. Now I'm gonna slide this back in place and now the machine should do um, the, the next step, which is the, the tack down line, but it's really just gonna do another running stitch. So it's probably just almost like a waste of time, but that's what it does. It really does the tack down line so that you could just lay a big piece of fabric down there and cut around it if you don't have a scan and cut. So you could do it the same way but it is gonna do that. And now it's gonna do the satin stitch. So let's see what it does. Push this down and let's watch it do the satin stitch. I really am hoping that it will um, do a nice satin stitch around the edges. I don't see any place that it didn't catch. It, it, it's, it's caught all around the edges. And it's doing a zigzag to hold it down so it won't move. And now it's doing a sack stitch. So I'm not going to have you sit here and watch it do that. I'll be back in just a second and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I'm all done. Here's the T, and I am going to go ahead and do the IME on it. And I'll show you a picture because it'll be easier for you to see a close-up of how nice that satin stitching came out. But it did come out really nice. I'm very happy with it. Um, I did want to mention a little bit that I forgot to say before when we were at the scan and cut is I've had a scan and cut for probably about four years now. I've actually been playing with the scan and cut for more than 10 years since they came out with the first one but i've just been having a ball with it just recently because i've discovered the value of the sticky vinyl it is so much fun and here's a picture of something i did right here at work in the bathroom on the wall of alice in wonderland and that was really fun to cut out and stick it onto the wall i did one at my daughter's house that says casa de alvarado and put flowers on it that one was fun to do as well and um i also did another picture of peter pan now i have to tell you i saw the peter pan at one of our other stores and i thought i want to do this but i couldn't figure out i couldn't find it i didn't know where it was and so my friend Lar larissa hi larissa um was able to show me that you have to put the vinyl roller attachment on the scan and cut so if you have the scan and cut and you have that roller attachment hook it up to the machine and you'll open up a whole new menu of border prints by disney there's peter pan there's frozen there's snow white there's um Ariel under the sea there's the whole London landscape and the Peter Pan in fact here's a picture of the Peter Pan one that I did so um you can see that there's a whole lot of really fun things you can do with it and a world of more stuff that just will um open up your imagination to things you can do so make sure you do that I know that you'll have a lot of fun doing it and um, I wanted to let you know that I am going to finish this up and I'll be back in just a second and show you what it looks like okay so I'm back in my sewing room as you can see and I finished the table runner but true confessions time I have to tell you I finished this out and I'll show you a close-up of it completely done so that you can see that placing it with the scan and cut um, shapes that I cut out on the scan and cut and then satin stitching over it came out beautiful it was perfect for everything I wanted it to be but then I 
I came home and I went to go add it to my word summer and I put the rotary cutter in the wrong place. We've all done it before. We've cut where we didn't mean to cut and I accidentally cut the end of my tee off. So I thought about doing it again and then I just decided, no, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to my original idea and just write summer on it and then just forget about that word time. So, but it was a really good thing to do on the scanning cut. Anyway, so here's my word summer. Didn't that come out really cute? I was very happy with it. And I decided that I would go ahead and put the uh, the sun on here and and some flip flops and some sunglasses. And then I, I put some more um, two and a half inch squares on here, like I said I was gonna do. And then I bound it and I stippled on it while using my Solaire sewing machine. I was very happy with it. And I'm gonna kind of give you a close up of what that looks like so you can get a really good look at it. But I thought it came out really good and I thought that was a really good way for you to show how fun it is to do things with the scanning cut in conjunction with your sewing machine. You can do it with your Solaire as well, you just don't have that connect. Uh, capability so you have to do it a little bit different but it's not like it's impossible to, to do it and um, I just hope that you really had a good time watching this video and I would love it if you would like subscribe comment and come back again next time and we'll see what else we can show you see you later bye bye